Hello everybody, Professor Scott here, and I wanted to create this quick little video to show you how to use groups in the discussion board. What I've done is I've selected every student into groups. You're going to have groups. It may be a group of four, five, six, seven, eight. It depends on the semester, on how big, how many people are in each group. And also please note, with this video we're working in module four, but in future semesters it may be module one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It doesn't matter. I'm just using this particular particular module as an example. What I'll do, I'll always do this, I'll put the assignment instructions instructions inside a folder. So read the instructions and then in the instructions it tells you where to go to post your initial post and then your comments. In this particular assignment I say head over to the groups discussion board tab. Now also note that in future semesters I may change the name of this slightly. Maybe it'll say just discussion board or maybe groups but whatever I call it in the instructions that that's what you do. Then you'll click on that and what you do is you'll see your group, you'll select it and then you'll look for the button that says discussion board and then you can go inside and put in your initial post and then you can also make comments. The reason why I'm not doing it is because my view, the instructor view, is different than the student view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a video that a student made for me from their perspective. And then the only thing that I'll caution you on is that do not, when you see a button or if you see a button, that says create a group, you don't create a group. That's the only thing I want you to know here. So let me show you the video from my students showing you how to do this. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Take it away, Amanda. Okay, so here we have module four, and we'll see the details of the assignment. Here it talks about placing your answers in the groups version of our discussion board page. So we're going to head over to the groups discussion board and we'll click on the link here on the left. This will open up our module group assignment as you can see here, group 7. So when we click on this link it is going to open up and you'll be able to see the group members that are in your group and just below here if we click on the group discussion board link it will open up our discussion board so again this looks very similar to our regular discussion board area however it is broken into group assignment so once you click on the group you're able to create your thread and also once other postings are available you can open and reply to those